Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to take those old popcorn tins that most of us have laying around and recreate them and turn them into farmhouse country fall decor. Stay tuned guys, let's get crafting. I think everybody has their Aunt Betty and Uncle Eugene that gave you popcorn tins for Christmas every year. And after a while, you seem to have an abundance of them, which I do. And I'm going to take some of these that just don't fit my holiday decor and revamp them into some high-end looking fall decor. What's awesome about these is they can be two-sided so you can use them for fall decor and you can do the other side for Christmas so this is like two crafts in one today we're just going to be doing the fall side I had some white spray paint from Walmart you know the 99 cent awful spray paint and I thought it would be um, easier to take these outside and give them a coat of spray paint but you get what you pay for and it just doesn't cover so I brought them back in the house I grabbed my um, folk art and cream and I just gave these tin popcorn tins three coats of the uh, cream and folk art I'm getting tongue-tied it's easy if you go around the top go around the bottom and do up and down brush strokes it turns out so much better for some reason than going side to side so you paint it how you want I'm just letting you know I did a trial run of the first tin and I just liked going up and down painting a lot better I had bought this contact paper from Dollar Tree and it has a wood grain look and I thought that would be super cute to put on top of these tins because they're so old and they've been in my attic for so long removing the popcorn sticker wasn't an option so I had to paint over it and you could still see it so using this contact paper I have two tins that have a ridge at the top and one tin that doesn't so you put the contact paper on and you can use your fingernail and you can go around the ridge and it'll give you the perfect indent in the contact paper and then just use scissors and cut out that perfect circle and then remove the backing and put it on top of your tin. I really think adding the contact paper just gives it a really high-end look and it hides the original stickers. So using Minwax and Chestnut, I'm just going to kind of highlight around the edges, kind of giving it like a rusty look and just adding some more color since the whole tin is cream and the only different colors on here right now is the contact paper. So going around the top rim, the bottom rim of the lid, and then I do go around the bottom of the tin and there's like an indent in the bottom that goes all the way around I hit that with it and I take a paper towel and wipe it off as soon as I hit it only in that one ridge right there I'll set the um stain in there and then I take a paper towel and I kind of just rub it in so you're not just seeing like a blotch of stain it's actually rubbed into the paint and it actually gives it a really nice distressed and rusted look I mentioned earlier that I was doing three tents and I did one off camera as like my test piece. <laughs> On that one, I after I did the highlighting, I took the makeup sponge that had the stain on it and I went up and down on the tin rubbing as I went. So I would do a little bit at a time just to give that one kind of like a wood finish going around it because I wanted all three tins to have a different appeal. Now taking some rope, it's really thick it's not nautical rope, it's a little thinner than nautical rope, but it's thicker than twine that you can get at Walmart. I find where the seam is, and all of the tins have that seam. 
and I hot glue the rope going underneath the lid and I attach the two pieces together at that seam. And I do this because that seam will actually come into play later on in the video as well. Before I add my decal, I do find that seam, and that will show me where the front and the back is so that I can add fall to the front and Christmas to the back. So I got this self-adhesive stencils from Hobby Lobby, and it has a really cute floral wreath, and it has the word gather, and it also has another leaf. We're just going to use the wreath and the word gather. This is the first time I've ever used these self-adhesive stencils from Hobby Lobby and I was in love. It was so easy using some, um, what was that, coffee acrylic paint and then I used the green, which I can't remember, peacock, no moss. <laughs> Peacock is blue. I use the coffee bean in acrylic and then in Waverly I used moss. And on the, I know this has like berries and leaves, but I wanted very neutral, warm tones. So I did the whole wreath in that coffee bean color. And like I said, you can add color to this, keeping these all beige and cream. Um, really opens up a wide variety of ways to decorate with these because you can keep the neutral going or you can add pops of color with your decor. So I absolutely fell in love with these stencils. You just took a wet paper towel afterwards and wiped the paint off and it came off really nice. And I always pull my stencils up when it's still a little bit wet because I like that look where it's not so crisp and clean. You do get just a little bit of bleeding, but it just looks worn. I guess that's what the word I'm going for. So I put the other part of this stencil in the middle of the wreath, and that's where I use that Waverly and Moss just to give a hint of green in the word gather. And I really love how this came together and how this piece was turning out. So the next tin is the one without the ridge at the top. And this one I really was keeping simple. I kept with the neutral tones and I put um, the beige like wooden contact paper on the top of this, but I didn't have a lip this time where I could push my fingers to make that circle. So I had to flip the tin over onto the contact paper and using a um, pen, I went all the way around drawing the circle on. And then I just cut it out with scissors. After I cut it out, I peeled the back off and I attached it to the top of the lid. And as you can see, there's no ridge or lip on this one. It's perfectly flat and it covers the whole top. So that made this tin different from the other two, which I was really happy about because I wanted all three of them to have their own unique style and personality, even though I was using the same neutral tones. So this is a diamond uh, nail file and I'm going around the edges and it really helps to um, kind of file down that extra contact paper and you can easily just remove the excess. It's amazing. And then I'm taking that nail file and I'm going around and I'm highlighting around the edges of the lid only. The lid had a silver rim so I could actually distress the lid and you would see some of that silver show through. Now this is another stencil that I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. It's not self-adhesive, so I had to use tape. And because it doesn't have that sticky side, it 
I'm not really fond of these stencils, but I had it and I wanted one of the tins just to be country, not have a holiday theme to it so that I could use it all year round. So I'm leaving the chicken off and I'm doing the farm fresh and then the bottom of the stencil not doing the middle where the circle in the chicken is. But what I messed up on was, see on the one side of that chicken, there's like a little wavy line. I forgot to do it on the other side. So in the video and in the pictures at the end, you'll probably notice that I did not stencil that one side. <laughs> and I have to go back and fix that. I noticed that after this video was all done and I really didn't want to reshoot every part of it. And yeah. Well, we're just going to go back and fix that later. So as I was saying, these stencils get a lot of bleeding because it doesn't have a self-adhesive back, but it's still really cute. They do clean up easy. I just, now that I found that self-adhesive back one, I'm in love. These are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I have one that says, that's the one I did off camera. It says, Happy Fall. That's the one that also has like the more um, wooden tones in the middle of the tin. Then you got your Farm Fresh at the top. And that's the one that doesn't have the lip. So that's different than the other two. And then the one on the bottom is so cute that says Gather. I think these look store-bought high end i can't believe they were old popcorn tins that were sitting in my attic and the best thing about these is they can be used for both seasons fall and christmas you can put a christmas stencil on the back that's where that ridge comes into play you keep that ridge in the middle and you can put your stencil on the front and you can put one on the back for christmas which i will do and show you a video come december but i absolutely love love these. I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button. It helps me out so much to tell YouTube that this is a video that everybody should watch. I love y'all. Have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye y'all.